So I'm here with Melanie. It kills me how much I want to love you. <laughs> let me not. Let me not. Let me I not. Love it. I love girl. I love it. Well, it's perfect. It was perfect. Okay, All you were supposed to was singing. All right. I was about to. I didn't want to embarrass myself like that today, you know, on camera, but... How are you tonight? So great. Like, how could I not be great? Look at this beautiful room of women. So happy to be here. Yes, you can feel the synergy in the room, right? Yes, yes. There's a lot of girl power going yes, on. absolutely. And you're a new mom as well. I can. I Where? Mean, okay. She's out. She's out. She's out. Yeah, this is number two for me. Um, she's just 10 months old. And I have a six-year-old and a 10-month-old. And life is uh, evolving and feeling very complete. So it's beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely, and you look beautiful as well. How does it feel being here and presenting the Black Love Award, and what does Black Love mean to you? Black Love is inspiring. It's it's our foundation. I think it's what more people need to see and celebrate, and I'm happy to be a part of that conversation. You know, my journey through love is one that I've shared openly many times. Some people know that through my music. Some people know that through my interviews. Um, I'm here tonight with my husband. Um, again, Having our family feel complete now with two children, being married, the journey that we've been on. Um, it's just a beautiful representation. I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of that beautiful rep representation tonight in the room, outside of being here as a musician, outside of being here as a singer, honoring other amazing women in the industry, to represent another level of our creativity as mothers, as wives, as partners, as creatives. Um, it's, a special, it's a special moment for me, so I'm really happy to be here. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, one of the things you touched on is the healing journey. And everyone references Sierra's prayer. Oh, right here, I got a little. Oh, I thought I, thought I no, had no, a little. No, no, it's me, it's me, it's me. See, but look at the girl. girls. Okay, okay. we're looking out for each other. I was like, girl, what? Um, but going back a little bit, Sierra's prayer is referenced a lot. And you spoke on the healing journey. What was some of the pivotal moments that you took to heal yourself? And when did you realize, okay, I'm ready to put myself back out there for real love for my twin flame? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I think that it took some time for me to almost go through a, a series and a season of my life where I was willing to try new things, to maybe step outside a little bit of who I thought I was or who I had to be, to explore different options, to try and meet different types of people, to challenge myself, to step outside of my comfort zone. And then most importantly, to know when it was enough to say, okay, this is not a time for, um, for exerting energy, more so than injecting energy into myself, more self-love, more self-awareness, more boundaries, more understanding that I can be more proactive than reactive in my life and in my love. And once I started to do that and I started to realize that not everyone was worthy of my energy um, and I started to value myself more, then I, thank goodness, found my partner who absolutely cherishes my energy and absolutely matches me. And we really do, you said twin flame, he really is. He really matches me that way. And some people feel like your partner has to be your soulmate. I don't necessarily agree that way. I think soulmates can show up in so many different ways, but I think your twin flame is a special person in your life. Yeah, fortunately he's my husband. <laughs> okay, come on, he put a ring on it. He sure did. Now, how do you femme it forward in your career actively? Well, for me, it's about expanding, I think, the view of how women can be perceived and what they can do in their lives, in working, in their personal lives. Right now, I'm in a space where I've had the, you know, the blessings of establishing my career and having a beautiful fan base to continue to work and create music and do what I love. Also having a partner, also building a business, also supporting other mothers that are creatives in the, in the music industry and in the world, really. Creating um, platforms where mothers can share vulnerability and some of the truths that we don't get to talk about as women. And I think that that's become a huge passion of mine ever since become a, I'm a mom. I'm now a mom to a daughter. So creating more spaces for women to feel seen, represented, and healed is absolutely my mission in this phase of my life. So I'm very blessed to be able to, I think, to experience both, where in one regard, it was just really about me and establishing myself. But now, based off of what I've been able to do, I can share that with other people and help them. Absolutely, and that's what it's about. Yes. That's what it's about. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. So nice to meet so you. So nice to meet you, too. Can thank we get a sign-off for absolutely, Universal? Absolutely, awesome. yeah. Thank you. Hey, this is Melanie Fiona. You're checking me out right here on Universal from the Femme It Forward event in Los Angeles.